Welcome back guys, Coach Stoneface here bringing you a retro opening of 2010-2011 Victory Hobby. So this is the first time I've opened this um, on the channel. I, I'm not going to lie, I definitely overpaid for it. I got it off eBay. Um, the guy was selling for 35 bucks in store according to this price tag. You know, with delivery I think I paid over 50 probably close, I think closer to 60 So definitely don't love the fact that I just bought this. But... I have a binder full of this. I'm only missing a couple cards, so I, I figured it'd be fun to open it on on um, on the channel, but it'd also be you know potentially be able to fill my fill my collection. So we'll see what we can get here. Uh, obviously, some some of the better rookies in this in this class. I mean, you're looking Taylor Hall, Tyler Sagan, uh, Jordan Jordan Eberle. Um, Try to see who else is on there. Jeff Skinner, Kadri, Subban. Even Robin Leonard, uh, if he starts playing better, he goes up a little bit more in value. So uh, in terms of just the regular cards, there's not a ton of value. I mean, a rookie card, the most expensive one I've seen is like, I think it's like $10 for, for a Skinner, Sagan, Everly, Hall. They're all kind of in there at the same price. Um, see see the odds there. Um, like, if you want to make the money, that obviously, again, the black parallels is going to be big. Um, it'd be where we want to go, so... We'll open this up. We'll see what we get here. Hopefully, we can finish off my my collection, and I'll I'll see what I'm I'm all missing after this video. But um, might open up some MVP too. Uh, I've started organizing my collections a little bit more. You know, through this second wave of lockdown, I picked up a ton of supplies, and with the supplies, I uh, I've been able to uh, organize a lot of my collections. So this will be the one I do this video because it's 36. Find one rookie card or superstar insert in every pack. That's pretty cool. Uh, I like it with, with Hobby when you can actually get something in every single pack. <clears throat> see, we're empty there. So there's going to be a lot of cards here. A lot of cards for sure. But I'm excited to, to go through it. I don't believe there's any memorabilia ones. There might be some autos, but I don't think there's any memorabilia. So we will put these over here and we'll start, start working our way through them. So I'm pretty... Pretty excited. Oh man, they're not gonna open well, are they? Nope. I hate when I watch guys on, you know, I've been doing a lot of live breaks, and like I told you guys that, and you know, when you start watching them and they open these packs so easily, and then I sit here and struggle. So, here's what the base looks like. Uh, obviously, the V for the victory in the background. It has, you know, quite a few years of, I think, was it five? Five years of history on the back. So nothing too crazy with those, but so we come through and we have our first hit. Well, every pack's gonna be a hit. So our first game changer or game breaker, sorry, is Alex Ovechkin. So if you're gonna get a game breaker, you're gonna get a um, some type of insert. Ovechkin, probably a good one to get. You know, before the before the days of McDavid, it was all about Ovechkin or Crosby, so just in terms of you know what that it's his fourth year in the season, probably gonna be some some value. By some value, I mean like a couple dollars to his cards. So we have a rookie, Jerome Sampson. Rookie. I don't think he had much of a much of a career. He had two points in seven games, which isn't which actually isn't too bad for a rookie in 2009-2010 there, but obviously. Nothing uh, transpired from him because I don't recognize the name. It's been 11 years now, as we're in 2021. All right, let's see what else we get. And I made some some poor life decisions recently. I, I sold my my Quinn Hughes um, rookie card, and man, I messed up that wholesale. So, ooh. Stars of the game, Carey Price. Nice card. Back there. Um, definitely messed up. You know, I, I should have put a higher minimum on it. And I'm going for like 90-something dollars. Um, and then I seen today that they're going for over 100 already. So just even in the last week, they've went up significantly. Not only that, I charged um, incorrect, incorrect uh, shipping. So I put it in a hard case, just, you know, obviously when you're spending that much money on a card, you expect it to be in, in a pretty good case. So I did put it in a hard case and, you know, so we factor that in and I undercharged probably by almost $10 for shipping. So 
just 100% my fault, but things you, you live and learn. And if we're talking about rookies, I think this one's going to go up in value as the season goes on because he was a huge hit. He had a couple bad seasons, but I mean, he's playing, what, 30 minutes a night right now in the NHL. So P.K. Subban, rookie. Two points in two games in 2009-2010. Feel the thrill on Toronto. But, again, in terms of cards you players you want to see, P.K. Subban is definitely top 10 in this, um, in this case. The one thing I do like about opening older cards, and, and maybe the only thing... Uh, besides finishing up some of the collections I started back in the day. Um, is you know who's going to be a good player. So it's it's no surprise that... I'm going to move my garbage can here. It's no surprise that peak, you know, when you're getting a rookie, you know if they're going to be good or not. Like we know who PK Subban is. It's not like we're in 2020 or 2021 or even 1920. You're like, oh man, I hope that player's good. We know exactly who everybody's going to be. It's so another game breaker. Drew Doughty. This is maybe second year Drew Doughty. Maybe third. Still young though. All right. Let's get this going. Um, one thing I will say, and and you know maybe my expectations are too high. So, um, if you are watching this, I, I really appreciate you your support. But obviously the contest is not going well. Um, I really hope that. Uh, I really hope that, you know, if you if you are liking it, you're sharing it, you're telling people because I would love to give away some free stuff here. Um, but I do need some more views to be able to have that happen. Uh, Jenny Dadinov, so again, not a, definitely not a superstar in the NHL, but we definitely know who he is. He's playing for the Senators this year after spending many years in Florida. Good hockey player, good rookie. Again, he's not going to not gonna make or break the bank, but he's he's definitely a, an NHLer. He's been in the NHL for 12 years now, so we know... Who he is as with that first Carolina player is, oh my goodness, that first Carolina player is a bit of a, a nobody to us. Um, so as I said, you know, for the video, we need to have 50 unique comments. We need to have 300 views. Um, with that being said too, I mean, like if you guys want other sports, want me to start getting into to football or basketball or, or baseball, let me know. Shane, Shane Doan, Game Breaker. Um, yeah, let me know and we can... We can definitely see what we're, we're able to get into. Alrighty. A young looking Henrik Sederberg on the back there. It's a checklist for Ryan Miller. Drew Doughty. Okay, Justin Falk, rookie. I just want to see one other thing here. So, Justin Falk, again, another guy that's playing some NHL. Definitely wasn't a one and done. So this would be Doughty's third year. So he has been in the NHL for two seasons. This is his third year. So not quite a sophomore. Defensemen rookies are, are so tough. And, and that's and that's honestly why I, I sold the Quinn, um, the Quinn Hughes. Because, I mean, you look at Doughty and look what his rookie card would have went for, you know, five, six years ago when, when LA was winning those cups. He, he was through the roof. And then, you know, you have a couple bad years. P.K. Subban, another one, like, his, his rookie card, when he was still on Montreal, you know, was it was so so expensive and now now look at him there's not much not much value in and I find that with uh John Tavares stars of the game I find that with goaltending you you really don't know sorry not goaltending with defensemen you know they're, they're so hit and miss because defensive value in, in terms of of collecting and, and memorabilia and hockey cards and, and what have you is it, so based on on um offensive output so you know, you could be the best shutdown defenseman in the world, but it doesn't matter if you don't have offensive output. Your your resale is not going to be not going to be crazy. So here's another one of those rookies that never made it. Casper's um, Dugovins. I was talking to this guy the other day, and I, I was just telling him like, you know, during these breaks, live breaks, and how I hate hate when uh, names are are said so incorrectly. And then there's me who has a really hard time with some names like. Kotkaniemi. Still, I've been practicing. I still can't say it. But Zach Bogosian. There, I can say it better now. Oh, JVR on Philly still. Game breakers. This is another one that might be his second year there. 
Man, when I was back in the day before I knew about hobby boxes, like I would buy this, I would probably buy this victory stuff again. This another hobby box if I can find it for the right price. Um, but I mean, I I like this. Every I like how every box has a hit too. So you know, even if everything's worth a buck a card, I'm I'm selling it for for thirty six dollars, right? Like I'm, if I was gonna get it at the retail value of this, I'd definitely make my my money back. As we're you know, some could be worth a bit more. Kyle Wilson. But it is old stuff. I don't know. I like it. I like victory. I like how every, every pack has a hit and how the hits still have, you know, some value as we're now, especially in, in 2021. The portraits are so ugly and there's just no value to them when you get them. Mike, and, and, you know, it's again, talking about defensemen, Mike Green, another one. Fantastic career, but just went from... You know, the next best thing to the, you know, he's going to be the best offensive defenseman in the history of the NHL to almost no value. That's why I'm saying, if you, if anybody has a John Carlson young guns or, or a card like that, sell it now because his value is just going to go down if he has a bad year. And it's going to be hard to recover because he's already what, almost 30 years old. Uh, Zach Hamill. Uh, had more than a sip of coffee in the NHL. Did have a bit of, of time in the NHL, but definitely not a a mainstay or a top six forward. But he did play play some seasons there. Might still be kicking around in Europe. I'm not too sure. Don't think he's in the NHL still. Gabrick on the Rangers. All right, we have a Gabrick Greenbreakers on the Rangers. There we go. Two Gabricks in that back. Yeah, I, I'm really enjoying this. This is a this is a fun pack. Definitely something I think I'd I'd be interested in getting again, especially for the right price. I think spending less than 50, 60 bucks on it with shipping and everything. Nick Spalling still in the NHL. Um, I want to say Pittsburgh, but it might be Minnesota that he's on now. He might have been part of that Minnesota trade. Nick Spalling. Yeah, I can't quite remember where he is. Still haven't seen a, a huge name here for for rookies. I mean, P.K. Subban's a very good name. But haven't had that. Patrice Bergeron, now captain of the Boston Bruins. Haven't had that top player. Haven't had a, a black card yet. I know it's like 700 and something boxes for it, but... I don't know. Just once I want to see my luck and actually hit, hit something, right? Like, I just... I, I've never really had any pack luck. Artis Kulda? Sure. You know, like, I don't even think I've ever opened... I opened one auto with a Leafs... Uh, a retro Leafs one, but it was like a no-name guy. Well, not no-name. That's disrespectful. Um, many current Leafs fans would not know who he, what, who he is. Ian Turnbull. Um, definitely a Leaf legend in his own sense. Stars the game of Jenny Melkin. Uh, so this is what his sophomore year for Stephen Stamkos. Yeah, nope, third year. I guess so. He'd be the same as Doughty then. So that this is what 10, 11. So it'd be 08, 09 for Stammer. Um, yeah, I we're, you're gonna see a lot of random stuff coming here. I, I bought some some cases of of synergy, um, old synergy though. Dean Arson, rookie. Um, some old synergy that's coming in. Uh, I thought I got a slamming deal on it because a couple of local card stores are overcharging for, um, you know, beyond belief. But now I'm finding it cheaper and cheaper. I still got a pretty good deal. Um, and then I did, I bought a bunch of repack stuff from uh, Pristine Marketing. So remember when I opened all that Dollarama stuff, I actually reached out to the company themselves and they had a promo on where you get uh, some um so was this a Jenny Melkin game breaker uh, where you get a a um sorry guys you get some promo with it some free products some either a jersey or an auto I believe so did go for that spent uh, quite a bit of money on that on those everything should have like a jersey or um with it so that's pretty cool Adam McQuaid work, rookie Another guy just retired, if I remember correctly. This year, just retired. Um, so, 
yeah, I do have a couple things coming in. I, I'm in talks with somebody about either trading to get some packs or potentially just buying buying some boxes, some more Timmies. Um, I've been avoiding Henrik Zetterberg, stars of the game. Uh, I've been avoiding buying Upper Deck Series 1 for this year because it's so expensive. And, I mean, it's so hard to pull a Lafreniere, but if you do, you obviously make your money back. Um, so, I don't know. I'm seeing if I can get a good deal on it. But, realistically, he's the only player that's going to make your money back. Rookie Raymond Sawada. Okay, Jonathan Quick, is this his second year then in 10-11? remember when they won their first cup. No, it's his... Well, it's his... This will be his... He's been in the for three. This will be his fourth. But, first one was obviously just as a call-up. Interesting. That's the other thing. When you get the older ones, I mean, obviously they're more established. You get a few more hits in it, but at the same time, there's not as many things. Like, obviously, I'm not pulling rookies here. I'm not pulling jersey cards. Or, sorry, I am pulling rookies. I'm not pulling autos or anything like that. Martin St. Louis. There's not many numbered cards. I haven't found any black parallels or any parallels, really, which is unfortunate. I thought I'd at least get some. As where you know, like in series one, series um, you know twenty twenty one, you're you're gonna get six guaranteed young guns. You're gonna get a couple different things, or some of the more expensive boxes. You're obviously gonna be guaranteed Ryan Pitten. Uh, you're guaranteed a certain amount of of hits, um, which you are definitely not guaranteed in in these. Even though I just said I like this because every every pack has something. It's just not. The life-changing type of type of hits. Paul Statsny. Boy, is he falling off. Hopefully he does well in Winnipeg this year. Can resurrect Patrick Liney a little bit. Now that he's gone back there. I mean, obviously the, the Vegas. Then Pittsburgh. Didn't work out well for him. Experiment there. Jeremy Duchesne. Alrighty. So, down to our last few packs here. Maybe seven left, eight left. I'm really hoping we get something fun here. Really hoping we get something fun. I don't know. Any kind of parallel. A big name rookie. Probably, I actually prefer a parallel at this point. Phil Castle Game Breaker. Luke Shen. Is that not a rookie? I thought Luke Shen. No, this would have been. He was 08 09 as well. Okay. Well, still, I'm very happy with the PK Subban. Would love one more name. I mean, there's some. Obviously, we had some players who, who've had a good career, but not any big, big names. Jeff Penner. Jonas Gustafsson. I have found recently some, uh, with all of my organizing, I've went through some of my older stuff. I found some of my personal collection for Cujo. So it's growing. I'm excited to kind of go through some of that with you guys sometime here. And we have stars of the game Rick Nash. Rick Nash and Columbus. All right. Five packs. Give me something good. Craig Anderson on Colorado. Another one, Danny Boyle, who had a lot of upside and kind of fell off a little bit. Forgot about that logo on the pant. Uh, Thomas Canna for the rookie. Not much of a career for him, but he did play, play a little bit. I remember his name. What do we have here? Rich Peverly, game breaker. Mike Richards, the captain of the Flyers. Going back and seeing some of these players on their teams and, and you know, some of the letters that were on these guys, and now you can't find a home for them because the off ice stuff is crazy. But Rich Peverly, the only player to die and come back to life on a bench. 
it's really too bad. I mean, I'm glad he's he's staying within hockey and he's doing some. I think he's he's in a, a player development or scout or something now. I'm glad he's he's in hockey. It's too bad what happened to him. Oh man, I was hoping for something better there. Brock Trotter. Brock Trotter. All right, two packs left. Let's pull a. I don't know who would be the best one. Taylor Hall. If he resurrects his career in Buffalo this year, would it be a, a Tyler Sagan? I mean, Eberle's kind of went downhill. Skinner's. Jeff Skinner, who really knows. All right, so we have a gold parallel here. I did say a one on one, so there's a gold parallel. And there's the start of the game. Jumbo Joe Thornton. Current Maple Leaf. All right. Well. Let's see what's in the last pack here. So we have a Martin St. Louis. We have a Pekka Rene. We'll slow roll this one. David Krejci. Martin Havlett. An Avalanche. I don't think there's anybody. Oh. It's because that's TJ Gallardi. All right, do we have a rookie here? Rookie. And it is Bobby Butler. Bobby freaking Butler. All right, well, there we have it, guys. There is our 2010 2011 Upper Deck Hobby or er, Victory Hobby Box. Uh, obviously, the best pull here would have been would have been our PK Subban rookie. So that was way back in our fourth pack. Game breakers for Ovechkin might might have some value, but I mean we're talking dollars, um, low dollars, couple dollars maybe, but gold parallel. So yeah, there we have it, guys. Thank you very much. I'm just gonna throw it up on the screen here, so bear with me as I roll over to my computer. Remember the contest, you know, we want to get your comment with your favorite player, favorite team, hockey card story. We got to get 50 comments. We have to get 300 views. And with that, we will be giving away some Upper Deck Series 2, which I'm, from what I understand, will include Timmy Stutzla, um, you know, his rookie, his young gun. So that'll probably be a big hit there. But really, guys, appreciate your all your, you know, your time. Appreciate you guys watching here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.